Welcome, everyone, to the Wesley Church on the Mall on behalf of myself, Mark, and my little music mascot, Sebastian, right there, sitting on the piano. We welcome you to Wesley on a Friday. We're dedicating this concert to my niece, Sophie Elise, who passed away tragically just a week ago. First piece I'd like to play today is from an album called Oracle, which is an album I actually wrote for my parents. Hi, Mum and Dad, watching from their home in Cordo Heights. And uh, people are waving to you here, actually. And so this album is called Oracle. Of course, Oracle meaning someone who speaks wisdom and speaks into your life and, and gives direction, sometimes when you don't really ask for it. But anyway, <laughs> nevertheless, it's good advice. And so, yeah, this, this piece, of course, is available for those of you who are pianists and piano teachers watching online. This is available through Wirrapang Publishing. And if you type in Oracle Mark Matthews on your favorite e-search platform, your Spotify, your Deezer, your 24-7, or your Apple or Google Play, you'll find the audio track there too. So this is called Oracle, one of our first pieces in a minor key today. Hope you enjoy We often say that with every end is a new beginning, but I guess sometimes when the end comes, it's difficult to see what the new beginning may be and how it actually emerges again. Well, this piece is a little bit like that because it came from what we call as, as piano teachers a train wreck in the studio. One of my students and I were performing a piece and it didn't quite go the way the composer was intending, if you know what I mean. And so. As, as he played some interesting notes, in my mind came a new idea for a new piece. And hence, out of the ashes rose the phoenix. And this piece, also from the Oracle album, is entitled Anew. And I hope you'll hear the new life that comes.
in 1770, as Captain James Cook sailed up the east coast here of Australia, just a kilometre away from where we literally are, the same year Beethoven was born. So a quarter of a millennia ago, and of course Beethoven's music is still impacting us today. Yeah? Everyone knows the piece Fur Release. Do you know the story behind Fur Release? It's believed that Beethoven was in love with a lady called Elise. Let's just say it was a one-way relationship. Unrequited love. <laughs> His love wasn't reciprocated by Elise. But he wrote a piece of music that is actually now, and about 10 years ago, was voted the number one most popular piano piece of all time for Elise. Now, of course, poor Beethoven, who was in love, um, wasn't thinking straight, as men do when they're in love sometimes. And I don't think he really finished the composition. So, in the cold light of the 21st century, I thought I'd lend him a hand. And uh, what you'll hear is I'll play Beethoven's version of the first two themes, and then what I think he really meant. But he just, you know, have a little bit of foggy thinking when you're in love. Yes, you've all felt this. And <laughs> wasn't quite penning things, perhaps, as he intended. I hope you enjoy. Fur elicitation on fur release, a variation. Excuse me while I powder my nose. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> nose powdered. Oh, something's different.
Thank you. Uh, that piece was called Deeper, and that piano score is available through Wirrapang Publishing. And of course, if you type Deeper and Mark Matthews into your search engine, your Spotify's or other e-platforms, you'll find the audio track of that too. That was another minor key, that was in the key of E minor. But recently, one of my students, as I was playing a piece for my student, which was actually in a happy key, by the way, the mother was listening in the next room and said, Mark, how is it that you can make even happy keys sound sad? <laughs> I guess it's a blessing and a curse, I don't know. And the next piece I'm about to play breaks the rules from today. It's actually in a major key, and the key of A major, which is actually a bright, happy key. I think you'll be assured that I can make this sound melancholy as well. But it's called Here's Hoping, and this piano score is available through Music for the Heart and Soul Opus 2 on the Remarkable website, and again, the audio is available on your e-platforms. I really hope it has a sense of moving forward, although perhaps a little bit reticent in his hoping. as we dedicate this concert to my niece, Sophie Elise. Now, I just played a piece called Fur Release, and yesterday I felt inspired to write a piece for my niece, and I felt if we can have Fur Elise, then we can have Sophie Elise, and that's her middle name. So I hope I get through this piece today. Uh, it's just very fresh in my heart, just kind of fell on the keys yesterday. But uh, yeah, it 
It's entitled Sophie Police. <laughs> Often bands, musicians like to medley songs. You usually try and find a couple of songs that like each other and put them together, or might have something in common. These next two pieces are both in the key of C minor, which is a very broody kind of melancholic key. Uh, the first one's in a straight 4-4 rhythm, and the second has a 6-8 kind of lilt to it. The first one's called Calm Before the Storm, the second one's called Coffee by Moonlight. No, I don't drink coffee, as many of you here know, but I'm looking around and I see some people that do like their coffee fairly strong. In fact, I see someone here today that I think has a triple shot. Black, long black. Would that be true, sir? Mm. And so, but what I like is, it's actually not a coffee. It's called a soy chai latte. There it is, it's out on the internet now. Everyone, everyone knows what it is. And sometimes an ice soy chai latte blended with some whipped cream. Mm, that's my chosen beverage. So, but I, I have been with friends that have had coffee by moonlight. I don't know why, I don't understand. But I do find the aroma absolutely therapeutic and delightful. Hope you enjoy these two pieces. They're both available as audio tracks on your favorite e-platforms and the piano scores available through Wirupang Publishing. Calm before the storm, followed by Coffee by Nuno.
in a minute. And that piece I actually wrote one day while I was literally waiting for a student to arrive. And yes, it was a male student, late. <laughs> and so it has that kind of sense of waiting. And in life, waiting can be the hardest thing, can't it? You know, waiting for either good or bad things to happen is really hard to deal with. That particular piece is in this album called Moonlight Meditations. But I often find people tell me that at midnight, when they can't sleep, they call it midnight medication. It's because it can actually bring them back to a sense of sleep and somnus. Uh, the next piece I'd like to play is actually in the banner next to that, and the one that says, Once Upon a Time. And uh, these are piano solos for yesterday, today, and forever. And I'd just like to say something that my mother said yesterday about our dear, her, her granddaughter, my niece, Sophie. She said, Sophia Elise, forever young, forever beautiful, forever in our hearts. Indeed, I agree with that sentiment. Two pieces to finish our concert today. Uh, the next one is the title track from Once Upon a Time. And on the audio platforms, there's actually two versions of this. There's a, a five minute version, and if that's not enough to put you to sleep, there's a 10 minute version <laughs> as well. So you can have one or, or put them back to back, 15 minutes of once upon a time, if you'd like to. And then that will be followed by our final piece today, entitled January. We're in the month of January, and sadly, January, the month that Sophie departed our shores. And January is part of an album called As the Months Go By. All your months are in this particular album. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks for joining us. Take care. Till next time. Bye for now. Be nice to each other. See you.